Hi, I'm Lois Keel, registered nurse and certified diabetes educator with Theta Care. The topic of this video is managing high blood sugars and sick days. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to manage blood sugars over 240 and also how to manage your diabetes when you are ill. There are many different causes of high blood sugar levels. One of the most common causes is eating too much food especially if you eat too many carbohydrates. Another cause is being less active. In Wisconsin, we often have higher blood sugars in the winter because we are less active than we are in the summertime. Stress can raise your blood sugar level. This includes both emotional stress and physical stress. Examples of emotional stress can be being worried about something, upset, angry, even excitement can raise blood sugar levels. Examples of physical stresses include pain, surgery, illness such as colds and flus. Another reason your blood sugar can rise is if you don't take your medication or you take less medication than is ordered. Weight gain can also cause your blood sugar to go up. As we gain weight, our insulin doesn't work as well. It doesn't get as much sugar put into the cells and the sugar remains in our blood. There are certain medications that can raise your blood sugar level. Steroids, decongestants, syrupy medicines such as cough syrups and cough drops can raise blood sugar levels. There are sugar-free cough drops and sugar-free cough syrups available. There are also many cold remedies that you can use that don't contain decongestants. I recommend asking your pharmacist for which medications you can use. Symptoms of high blood sugar include increased thirst, increased urination, and tiredness. However, Likely, your first symptom of high blood sugar will be a high blood sugar level on your blood glucose meter. The treatment of high blood sugars depends upon the cause. Sometimes, we can correct the cause and bring the blood sugars back down. For example, if we've been eating too many carbohydrates or sweets, by going back to our usual meal plan, our sugars can come back down. If we have not been doing our usual exercise or have been really inactive, by increasing our activity, we can help lower our blood sugar levels. However, sometimes we cannot determine the cause or we cannot change the cause and the blood sugars remain elevated. Here are some guidelines for managing high blood sugar levels. Continue to take your diabetes medications even if you're ill and not eating well. Do not increase your diabetes medication on your own. Drink a glass of sugar-free liquid or water every hour of the day while you are awake. This will help you not become dehydrated from the high blood sugar levels. Do not skip your meals. This is very tempting to do when your blood sugar is already high. Your body needs the nutrition from the food that you will eat at that meal. If you cannot eat your regular meals because of nausea or vomiting or decreased appetite, substitute bland foods, bland carbohydrates, or liquids. Examples could be a half a cup of juice, a half a cup of regular soda, a piece of bread or toast, crackers, a cup of soup. Usually with diabetes, we recommend eating about 45 to 60 grams of carbohydrate on a meal. So a bowl of soup, which would be about two cups of soup, and six crackers would equal about 45 grams of carbohydrate and could replace your meal. However, if you cannot eat this much at one time because of your illness, eat 15 grams of carbohydrate each hour of the day while you're awake. For example, sip on a half a cup of juice for an hour. 
the next hour you may do the same thing or you may want to eat a piece of toast. Continue doing this until you can get back to eating your regular meals. Regarding exercise, if you're ill, rest. Do not do your exercise. If you're not ill and your sugars are not above 300, you can do some exercise to help bring those blood sugar levels down. Test your blood sugar more frequently when your blood sugars are high or if you're sick. We recommend testing your blood sugar before each meal and at bedtime. If you have type 1 diabetes, also test your urine ketones before meals and at bedtime. When should you call your health care provider? If your blood sugar levels are over 240 for 24 hours or for about 3 to 4 tests, if your urine ketones are moderate or large on any test. If you can't eat or drink, or you have severe nausea or vomiting, also call your healthcare provider. The most important thing to do is to prevent illness, which can raise your blood sugars. Make sure you get your flu shot each year. Many people with diabetes find it very difficult to remember what to do to manage their high blood sugars in sick days simply because they don't happen very often. If you have questions, please call your healthcare provider or your diabetes nurse educator.